User Daniel asks if there's any news regarding the 2000 milliamp hour battery upgrade because he's about to get the 1800. Well, here's the 2000 battery upgrade. This is a 103450, which is 10 millimeter by 34 millimeter by 50 millimeter. Now, if you need a step by step guide on how to get to this point, check out the 1800 uh, upgrade, which I go in in depth step by step. So, here I'm just trying to do a quick swap, swap out. Um, I've already got the head cover off, I already got the other, the, uh, the daughter board out, little audio volume board. Uh, I'm using a tong depressor to get this one out because I've previously super glued this one in, not super glued, hot glued that one in. Checking out battery differences. Here's the first upgrade which was a 1500 to an 1800. That's the 1800 which is an 803450. Now we're going up to a 2000 milliamp hour battery, which is the 103450. And here's a neat trick that I usually do when desoldering small wires. Use a screwdriver. It provides leverage so that when you desolder it, they just kind of pop right off. The tension over the bar of the screwdriver helps pop it off instead of trying to desolder while you're pressing on it with your soldering iron and pulling a wire generally not not a great idea to pull wire so uh, this helps just give it a little bit of leverage and it just pops right off it's a great technique for desoldering uh, for soldering you, you don't want to do that for soldering that's for desoldering only Now we'll get that one out, and I've already pre-tinned some of these wires, pre-cut. Uh, the red is positive, black negative, yellow on this particular one is the thermistor. And a thermistor is just a safety device that protects against overcharge, overcurrent, overheating especially. So if you're charging your battery up really fast and it overheats and there might be some kind of thermal runaway, it, it stops the the power from going to recharge the battery um, which is a great safety device uh, that you will find mostly in headphones in, in, U in the US anyway headphones and electronics but they're very hard to buy in the US so I had to go to AliExpress in order to get a replacement battery uh, because in the US usually you'll only find two wire batteries two wires don't have the thermistor and you really want to keep that thermistor as an over current overcharge protecting protection circuit uh, because it's on your head <laughs> you know uh, having you know current protection on your head is a good thing so here I'm just soldering up uh, set the yellow one now notice I don't have enough solder on to pre-tin the black, so I'm going back to get some more solder. Just a little little bit of solder on there, put a little blob on there, pre-tin the wire, it really helps. Uh, because the new pre-tinned wire has some activated flux, which helps flow into the, the, the pre-existing solder joint. It just makes things a little bit easier. So we got the new board on. Uh, don't forget to put the hot glue back. That is necessary. And it, the board comes with hot glue, so you will have to take it off. It's really easy. It usually just pulls right off. And that's to ensure that the wires don't touch. Um, just in case something happens internally, there won't be any shorts from the wires. The wires are hot glued in place. Here I am just uh, situating wires, doing some cable management to put down the, the volume board. And you'll notice on the speaker shell, it's hard to see, but on the speaker shell, there's a little indent that goes in the middle of that wheel. Uh, and it's also lubricated. So if you start getting grinding on your wheel or something, you can open this up and put a little bit of uh, like silicon or uh, like lithium grease or, or some kind of lubricant in there.
there are three places in there that that have lubrication. Uh, here I'm just hot gluing down the corner to keep it as flat as possible. This is a 10 millimeter thick battery. It's as thick as it'll possibly get in this area. So you want to ensure every tiny micrometer of space is used up and that battery is as flat as you possibly can get it. Otherwise that cover is not going on. So you want this battery as flat as possible. There is only 10 millimeters of space in there and you've got a 10 millimeter battery. So you better make it fit and you don't want to squish a dichromatic lithium pack and you don't want to hot put hot glue or like put the hot tip of the hot glue gun on the dichromatic pack either bad things will happen pretty much immediately if you do that so this is dangerous um, so do at your own risk and only on the corners very lightly and then I'm just holding that down until it cools off to make sure it stays as flat as possible while the hot glue cures And that should be good. Yep. Now I'm just testing it. Make sure there's no balance in their space and that it's as flat as possible. And I'm pretty happy with the results. So put the cover back on and should be good to go, right? Well, wrong. Because it's a 10 millimeter thick battery, it presents a little bit of different issues than the 1800 upgrade. And especially different from the 1500, which is really thin and flat. The 10 millimeter thickness... <sighs> it caused an issue <laughs> uh, and it's because of the thickness of the battery so you're gonna have to reroute some of the uh, the cable management inside and you'll see here why what happens if you don't do cable management inside with the 10 millimeter thick battery the hinge will be off because the wire there's a wire going through that hinge that's where your main wire loom comes in is through that hinge and it's sitting on top of the battery. Well, with the stock 1500 battery, the loom that comes in will go straight across over top of the battery, no problem. With a 10 millimeter thick battery in there, it hits the side of the battery and then pushes upwards. So here's the hinge on top of the speaker shell that the hinges rest in and will pivot in so it's built in there and you can see they're pretty thin so be careful with your hinges because it's just a thin piece of plastic keeping those together and here the, is where the hinge comes in on each side you want to make sure that those are fully depressed when you put your cover back on so you got this side and that side and if they're not I mean you can squeeze the hinges in and just to make sure that they're squeezed in all the way you can take a little tool like a little screwdriver and you can depress them in a little bit more just to make sure that each side is fully in that way when you put the cover on the little pivot joints will rest straight on top of those um, those pivot cylinders in there and as you can see there's still a problem and it's because that wire loom is coming in and hitting the side of the battery and going up so the wire loom itself is now contacting the hinge uh, the t from the top plate so we have to reroute the wires instead of going over top of the battery we need to route them to the side because it's that it, there is no space on top of that battery so I'm depressing the wire loom down here and then I'm gonna pull back the sticker and make sure that everything is routed down so that that loom when it comes in does not want to go up we want it to go down and to the side and that should provide enough space for the hinge to sit on top of the pivot cylinder now and we'll just do a test fit and this is a problem that's only comes with a 10 millimeter battery this this is not uh, an issue with the 8 millimeter battery so if you get an 8 millimeter upgrade, which is the 1800 milliamp hour battery is a 8 millimeter thick battery, uh, you won't get this issue either. This is only with the 10 millimeter. And if you want to put the biggest battery that you possibly can into your headset, uh, 10 millimeters thick is as thick as you possibly can. 
So we have everything working right. Hinges working right. Look good. That side, that hinge is in. That side's good. That side's good. Then I check the other side. Of course, the other side's good. I didn't even touch it. I didn't. I didn't do work on that side. There's no reason to check that side. Okay, and now we're good to put our ear cup back on. Circumoral around the ear cup. And put the microphone back in. I use a magnetic power tip that you can find on AliExpress or Amazon. Those things are awesome. It's so you don't rip out your head cord, uh, your headphone cord from a desk chair or something. Magnetic plugs are the future. They're awesome. Everything works, powers up, good to go.